paperboard packaging is all around us. The paperboard produced at Skugkala Mill is mainly used for food packaging. But how is paperboard actually made? It all begins in the forest, where our raw material grows. A raw material that grows year after year and helps us to replace fossil-based materials with renewable solutions. In a world where we are increasingly appreciating the importance of sustainability, products made from renewable raw material, such as paperboard, are more important than ever. We make paperboard from trees harvested when thinning the forest, and we source from certified forests to ensure they are managed in a responsible and sustainable manner. The wood yard is the start of the transformation from tree to paperboard. Spruce and pine logs arrive by train and truck several times an hour, 24 hours a day, every day. The logs are debarked in the large barking drum before being chipped. The bark is used as biofuel in the mill's biofuel boiler, and the chips are destined to become pulp in one of our two pulp mills. Different methods and equipment are used in the two mills to produce pulp with different properties. Wood consists of fibres, and in the pulp production process, the fibres are separated and mixed with water so that they can form a new structure, the paperboard. When producing chemi-thermo-mechanical pulp, or CTMP, the wood chips are briefly pre-treated with chemicals to soften the fibres before being refined into pulp by large grinders. Almost 95% of the wood chips become pulp. In the recovery boiler, sulphate pulp is produced by steaming the wood chips, mixing them with chemicals and cooking them under pressure at almost 170 degrees Celsius. The recovery boiler recycles the chemicals from the fibre residue, which are used to generate energy for our processes. We constantly strive to become more resource efficient. We use over 90% biofuel in the form of bark, fibre residue and black liquor. The paperboard produced at Skugkala Mill consists of five layers of varying thickness. Sulphate pulp is used for the front and back sides of the paperboard, which gives strength and a smooth printing surface. CTMP makes up the three middle layers to give the paperboard stiffness and stability when used as packaging. Some of the pulp is bleached with chlorine dioxide and oxygen and depending on the customer's requirements, the paperboard can be completely white or brown, or have a white front and brown backside. At Skugkala Mill, there are two board machines, KM7 from 1977 and KM8, which began production in 1996. KM7 is slightly smaller than KM8, but both machines are otherwise very similar. The first part of the paperboard machine is the so-called forming section. The pulp consists of 99.7% water, and the five layers are added one after another on an endless rotating Fordrenier wire, which acts as a giant strainer where the water is removed with the help of vacuum pressure. In the next step, water is pressed out of the paperboard. The paperboard passes through a large number of hot drying cylinders, which are heated with steam from the mill's own boilers. All water is collected and recycled. Water is important in paperboard production. We use water from Lake Vannon that circulates in our mill and is purified before being released back into nature. Skugkala Mill is located in a Natura 2000 area, which means that we have high standards on what we are allowed to release. After the drying section, the paperboard is coated with a mixture of calcium carbonate, clay and latex to give a good printing surface. On KM8, the paperboard passes almost 700 metres through the machine before rolling up on giant reels that weigh around 55 tonnes and take 40 to 50 minutes to produce. Each reel can be used to make just over 2 million 1 litre milk cartons. Quality and food safety are important to us. Inside the machines, there are various high-speed cameras and sensors that measure different characteristics of the paperboard. 
In addition, both the pulp and the finished paperboard are tested in laboratories to meet the high standards of food packaging. The large reels are cut into smaller reels in the winder, according to customer requirements. They're then packaged, and with barcodes for identification, the paperboard is transported by rail, road and sea to customers all around the world. Some of the rolls go to our plant in Foshaga. There, the paperboard is coated with various types of barriers that protect the contents of the finished packaging from light, oxygen, moisture, grease and heat. Our customers then print and cut the paperboard to convert it into packaging. This is then sent to dairies and other food producers that fold together and fill the packaging with their product. So now you know how your food packaging is manufactured, from a tree in the forest to a carton in your hand. After use, an empty carton becomes an important raw material for new packaging. We do our best to help combat global warming. And by choosing packaging made from renewable materials that produce lower carbon dioxide emissions, you as a consumer make an important contribution to future generations.